Welcome Miller's Monsters. I'm Mr. Beelzebub. This is Count Luna right here being so nice and quiet. You should have saw her a minute ago. She had her face in this bathtub. There she goes again. Behind me is Edgar P. the Scully and uh, we're going to talk about The Last of Us. I just finished uh, binge watching these episodes a few nights ago and uh, for me, it did not disappoint at all, but before we get into it, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, hit the like button, set yourself up for notifications so you don't miss another Saw It Coming Zombie Field episode, and uh, please tell your friends to like and subscribe as well. So, The Last of Us. I uh, binge-watched this episode, or not this episode, but the rest of the episodes. I think there was five this weekend, and this series does not disappoint. Um, I'd have to say one of the best horror series that I've ever seen. Um, it's, it's a roller coaster ride, really. Um, you know, I talked about this earlier. It came out hot. And then brought you down for a little bit and another hot segment brought you down a little bit and then finished on the incline and they really didn't let you <laughs> let you come back down after that um but uh i thought it was uh well written uh the story is compelling throughout and the reason i say that is it kept me interested the whole time even when there was a lack of mushroom heads in the episodes and I do call the uh, the mutant zombies mushroom heads for those of you that are just watching this and uh, so uh, you know it's uh, it, it is you know about the zombie apocalypse but it's also about uh, the human condition and sometimes the humans in this series were worse than the uh, the zombie apocalypse, if you can uh, believe that, either driven by the circumstances that they've seen or how they were in a previous life, but now that it's everything's gone to heck, uh, they can act on these things. Um, and uh, it was just compelling throughout from episode one to episode nine. And uh, if you don't know, the synopsis is um, Joel Miller, nice last name, Joel, uh, is, has the uh, task of getting Bella Ramsey across the country to a uh, university so they can study her because she seems to be immune to the uh, zombie bites. And pretty much that's the premise. And we follow them on this trek and we you know get to know people they knew uh joel knew on this trek and uh what happened to them uh you know and uh he finds his brother okay and that's probably a little spoiler there but uh you know uh his search for his brother and then finally you know getting to the university and uh, what happens there. So that's all I'm going to tell you about the story. Uh, it's really well acted by the two mates. Uh, Pedro Pascal plays Joe Miller and I thought he was fantastic in this. He went from, he played both extremes. He went from badass psychopath to being really vulnerable in uh, the middle part of the series and then finished off as what you've stopped one at a time uh, finished off in his badass mode and let me tell you I would not want to meet Joel in in the dark alley because he would kick my ass um, then there's a uh, Ellie Williamson who would probably kick my ass in the dark valley too um, she's the 14 year old that Joel is trying to get across the country and he's protecting her and uh, oftentimes uh, you know she comes to his rescue which leads to its vulnerable point uh, in the middle of the series. And uh, she has to grow up quickly. Um, you know, there's things you have to do in the apocalypse that a 14-year-old girl uh, should not do. 
and uh, you know she's dealing with this and then throughout this trip where uh, they start developing developing this relationship where you know they're at this point till finally uh, they've really uh, care for each other I won't say love but and not in the physical sense but as a father-daughter uh, sense and uh, you know at the end um, that plays a big part in the uh, in the happenings and uh, so Ellie Williams that plays Bella Ramsey I might have switched it in the beginning I'll say it again in case I did uh, Belly Ramsey is the character. Ellie Williams, no, Bella, Belly, Belly Emerson uh, is the <laughs> Belly Ramsey. I got it. Is the <laughs> is the character is the actor that plays Ellie Williamson. I'm done with names today. That's it. It's enough. I'm an old man. Can't remember all this at once. And uh, she does an excellent job. She starts out. You know, as a smart-talking girl, you know, street girl, um, pretty much maintains that uh, throughout the film, but uh, becomes a uh, natural force in this film. And uh, and I won't say more about that. You'll have to watch it uh, to see it. So I thought the acting was very well done. The CGI is excellent. Um, you know, I do like creature effects more than CGI, but I thought this was well done, and there were some creature effects in here. But, uh... Ugh, you're, you're a monster today. I'm never going to get this done. It's going to be a 15-minute... That's it. Taking it away. Took the ball away. All right. And uh, the, the graphics were really well done. There's enough... Uh, uh, plenty of gore in this even when uh, the mushroom heads aren't around and uh, uh, you know uh, it, it just uh, was great throughout now, like I said my only complaint is there weren't enough mushroom heads but uh, even when they weren't in the show uh, it was compelling all the stories were very compelling my favorite one was episode uh, 5 and uh, I won't say anything about it because I want you to watch it and see this if you haven't already, and it looks like a lot of people have, um, but uh, you know, I can't give this enough compliments. I'd get out. It's on HBO Max. If you haven't seen it, get out and see it, and especially episode five. Um, I, it, more about the story is they use the fat, the flashbacks, to uh, help enhance the story. Um, they weren't all done in the beginning. They're done throughout. So, you know, the flashback you got would be part of the, spo the story in the future. Maybe the same episode, maybe the next episode. But it helped uh, shape the character's mind frame and how they reacted to everything that's going on. So, um, a lot of heartstrings were pulled. This, this uh, you know, the series had me in tears at one point. Yes, I admit it. Um, just for one episode. That was it and uh you know it also had me shouting at the tv like how in the hell could they do that um but the episodes are very tightly written and they're not dragged out okay through the whole season they pretty much wrap up in one or two episodes which i liked about that uh so you can get on to the next part of their voyage their next growth instead of okay we're gonna wallow in this situation for this season and then we'll wallow in this situation for next season so it's very fast paced in that aspect and i think that's why part of my liking for it so this is definitely i'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five uh it's not perfect um but it's damn near close perfect so if you like what you saw go to town and uh Please ring the bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, set yourself up for notifications so you can't miss Count Luna chewing on the uh, treats out of the gore tub. And uh, please tell your friends, 
to view and like us and subscribe. Thank you in advance and it's empty. She ate them all. I'll talk to you later.